<laughs> Does I really want to say how much we pay for it? Yep. <laughs> it's all history. The six thousand Australian dollars, not yeah. American. So. Six thousand Aussie dollars. Which are the best dollars? Best dollars. Not six thousand pounds either. That's a lot of money. No, but I have filthy pounds here, Oh. See that Cosmoline there? Yeah, that's good. I think it's not. Wood because it'd be a bit of a worry if you open it up. Yeah. It's just wood. It's like the best Christmas present. It is the best Christmas present. Yeah, so they've come here and they've. Oh, what's that piece of wood there? Yeah, oh. that's wood. So I've come here to get to the serial number. Yeah. Why not the soul? Yep. So now just. Mm. Might be able to start here actually, might be easier. Might be easier, yeah. Uh, well, the guy that unwrapped his in, in England. Did they have um? Did they have to verify the serial number of the police uh, or the government? I, I guess so. Anybody? Yeah. I mean, technically, this should be the worst part of it because it's been looked at. Yeah. And who knows when they opened it to look at that. Yeah, well, they would have had to have opened it once it left the Irish. Um... Well, once it got to Australia, they would have had to open it. Yeah. Bloody. I'm going to call them the Irish contract um, rifles, 303 rifles. Mm. Kept in storage. There'll probably be people on the internet who'll tell us they've done all this. Yeah. Time. Maybe we are supposed to well, keep the shit up so it melts off. Mm. Well, I think, I think, I'm not sure there'll be people that will know, but I think they went to the SLR in Ireland yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, everyone, English, Australians, mm. Irish, yeah. Scottish. So that's Israelis. why these were never, never used. Even Israelis went there for a bit, but then mm. they made their gillies. And... Mm. This the is Americans amazing. didn't want it. So when so when was this one made? Nineteen fifty five. Nineteen fifty five. You might have to get the old hair dryer out and continue. And yeah. Care, I yeah, we'll buy some Caro as well, but we need a hair dryer now. If we could have a hair dryer. Just if, put this right, we'll get back to yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get back to it. And yep. We'll be back. Yeah, so we've got this um, number four Mark II, 1945, 303 rifle. From well, the old Faz, I can't remember what the rest of it is. Yeah, old. Something. Yeah, so we're unwrapping that from its mummy wrap. I'm going to try and save these little labels here. Yeah. The Cosmoline is, is quite heavy, as you can see. It's going to take a lot of... We got this cleaning to do. We got my nice hair dryer that yeah. I use every day here. Yeah, we've got our girlfriend's hair dryer there, so. Um. Try and save that label. Yeah, there's quite a bit of this. It's almost like sandwich paper. Just on the outside. Yeah, that's corrugated then, on the ends. But once you get in there, you got this. Stuff here, which is real thick and sticky. Yeah, it's drenched with um, cosmoline. It's like a like an old bandage or something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very thick. Yeah. And you can see it's got like corrugated ends there. The closest I can think yeah, lunch that it reminds me of is a yeah, is a sandwich um, paper. Um, a bit better quality than what they make. Yeah. 
Now apparently they <coughs> they um, dip the whole thing in cosmoline. So you've got it all here and all over the magazines up and the, where the trigger goes. So it's, it's all going to be inside up the barrel and it's going to have to come out somehow. We may even have to pause the video again at some stage because it's definitely going to be hard. Really. <coughs> this is going to take a long time to just to get the first um, just the first bit of brown paper off. Oh, maybe it's... I did I did hit the hit that just before with the, with the yeah well the, so maybe it's yeah well there's one guy that did one in. In England, and, and he reckoned once he hit it with the dryer. And the gunsmith. Yeah, gunsmith guy. It um, came off reasonably easy. Mm. So maybe we need to hit it with that again. Oh, yeah, I did. I think that's why it's actually coming off. Yeah. Quite easily. Yeah, no, it's coming off easy. But who knows how they would have done this in the field if they had to do it. <laughs> there wouldn't have been any blow dryers. Mm. Especially in a cold country. Between the stock and the between the stock and the yep. and whatever that stuff is, just going there, heating it up. Yep. Moving up. Yeah. Actually so it comes Oh there you go. Apart. Beautiful, isn't it? Blonde birch. Beechwood, whatever that Beechwood. Is. It's not the walnut stock. No. So they ran out of that. Yeah, they ran out of that. And when they were using it in World War Two, they weren't drying it properly, so a lot of the guns were... What was it? Something to do with the trigger, that's why they really... Uh, a lot really of the guns the they were using um, green timber hadn't fully cured, and then and then they had bedding problems. Oh, um, some bedding, yeah. Bit of bedding problems. Uh, using half green stocks. Ooh, she's coming out. Mmm. Oh, well, should we pause it for a bit? Then? Yeah, we'll pause it for a bit. We'll come back a bit later. We'll get a bit off, a bit more off. Okay, we've pulled a bit more um, wrapping off the number four Mark II. Uh, 1945 303. 55. Sorry, 1955. Um, 303. And, um. The front here is starting to come off. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect wood. Perfect wood. It's beautiful. This blonde wood is nice. I didn't, I wasn't too sure about it at first. I thought that walnut was the only way to go, but I think I like this. Mmm. Sort of grows on you, like. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Bloody hair dryer gets it straight off. Mm. What's this like? Oh, that's like sticky tape. Yeah, it's like a bandage. So, from what I understand, it was a hot. Um, this is an Irish. Contract rifle. Not all of them were. Mm. Yeah. But generally, it's mm. um, majority. Of it. Yeah. It made for other countries, but the Irish are the ones that kept me in storage for such a long time. I can't remember. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of other people that know more about it. Well, there's plenty of other people which know more about it than us, but. And the guy is there, but. Yeah, I don't know. No way. Probably dropped it at the factory or something. Yeah, well, we had the opportunity to buy a brand new one, so a mummy one, and then we thought, well, maybe we should leave it wrapped up forever and never open it. Fuck that. But 
we decided that um, no, why let someone else have the? What's the point of having a gun if you, you know, if you if you don't get set? And you well, die, that's right. Yeah. What's the point of having a gun if you're not going to fire it? So we open the bloody thing. Mm. So we thought rather than someone else in another hundred years um, yeah, one of my children having the opportunity and of opening the best Christmas present you could possibly imagine, we thought, well, we might as well do it ourselves. So here we are. Got a bit of a chunk off here, eh? It's got yeah. a, I don't really want to use any scissors or anything like no, that. No, I don't use nice. don't use scissors. Just keep working at it. Yeah. Well we got most of it. Got most of it off. Mm. I could probably fit this in, in that. Yeah, you probably can. Mate. If you can get your finger in there, well. well I can get two fingers. Yeah, if you're careful. The cosmoline is um, extra thick there. Mm. Where probably, you are now. Probably seize the bloody scissors up. Mm, probably. Done. Yeah, it's got the front. Just got the, the yeah. The front bit to do. I thought this was going to take us out. Well, it will take us a while to wash oh, that cosmoline yeah. off because I think down the barrel. I think basically we have to um, disassemble the whole rifle mm. to get it all out, and it's going to probably, uh, probably the magazine could be stuck in there. Oh, it's definitely stuck in there. You're not getting that bloody thing out. Look at it. Yeah, that'll all have cosmoline all the way in there. Yeah, no, it's. I don't even reckon the bolt would open. Yeah, it wouldn't well, get it up. Who knows? Probably not. No. Yeah. Bloody Andrew under the light. Mm. I want to put something under the oh. sights here. Oh, right. Um, just put, put that. No, no, this one. Just put that there. Yeah. So I can rest it. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. I've only noticed one imperfection, and that's probably from the factory. Yeah. Because it's not the end of the day, and that's it. Oh, well. the shit. Yeah. We won't worry about that. It's still a brand new rifle. No. At least the ball is 10 out of 10. And yeah. Action 10 out of 10, and yeah. apparently the everything's <clears throat> number four mark two, the um the bolt was just so slick. Beautiful bolt. The action was so smooth, apparently it was um yeah. Apparently is the best one made because they weren't rushed like they were in the war. Yeah. So you know there's a lot of quality control because they weren't they didn't have so many customers. Looking for their rifles. Yeah. So it's not like they were pumping out however many they would per day usually. Yeah. It's not an emergency, so they really took care. I think that string that I pulled off was attached to that. Um, yeah, to the sling. Yeah, to the sling holder. They actually had a bit of. Um, not sure where it is now. Over here. Yeah, so that was attached to. Um, to there, basically, I thought it was a tear string to tear through the cosmoline. It could have been. It could have been. Else would they attach yeah. It? yeah. I mean, it's not like we're going to hold. We're not going to put a sling on that. No. String, are we? No. The last little bit's resisting. <laughs> 
<laughs> he says, no, you're not going to open me. I've been sleeping here for all these years. Now you're going to wake me up and put the fire through me. Yeah. There oh, go. look at that. Oh, look. Mm. Look at that Cosmo. Bloody sticky stuff, mate. Yeah. There we go. Brand new... Brand new 303 number four rifle. She's definitely lighter. In, in all its glory. Definitely lighter than my K98. Yep. I'm sure I'm never going to see this again. I'll never see it again. Well, not in my own hands. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe on YouTube a couple of places, but... I'll swap it over to you, I mean, so you can... Hmm. How's it feel? Feels like a 303. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I mean, what else can you say? Yeah. 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 There we go. I'll swap over if you want. Yeah. Have a hold of it. Yeah, why not? Oh, I never thought I'd ever hold a brand new 303 in my hand. It's a, just a dream that I thought would never happen. That's oh, beautiful. That peep sight. I'll have to learn that sight because I've never used one of these Mark, Mark, um, it's Mark Four. Oh, that thing! Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Then we've got the ladder set here. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, how good is that? Beautiful. Put a hole in that television. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful gun. I don't even think Damon Alfie. Yeah, I was going to ask. Oh, there you go. Well, bolt even opens. <laughs> How's that? They even got the goo in there, Don't mate. Even opens. Mm. Look at that. Usually the it's all scratched up. Yeah, well, the bolt hasn't been open. Yeah. See what happens to the magazine. I bet this magazine's not coming out. Yeah, the other fella reckoned no, he had a real no, hard time <laughs> get, <laughs> trying to get that out. No, that's stuck there. Okay. Well, we won't go there tonight. No. Nah. Not too bad. Um, that's beautiful. Beautiful gun. I'm happy. I was very worried what we were going to get. I thought I was going to be rust all over it or there'd be something, but no, nah, nothing. Perfect. Brand new gun, as would have been issued to the soldiers of World War II. Beautiful. Bloody bit of shit. Is there anything in the barrel? Oh, I'm sure, that, I'm sure there'll be something. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Plugged with Cosmoline? Oh, I can see right through, but there's definitely Cosmoline in there. Yeah, okay. I, w I wouldn't be putting a bullet through no, there. No, no, it wouldn't be a good <laughs> idea yet. Yeah, uh, so. I saw there were some serial numbers on the wood itself as well underneath here, I think it was. Hmm. Yeah, you got something here. Oh, uh, righto. Uh, trying to focus. Well, it should match. It's like yeah, 30455. Oh, yeah. Six. Yeah, apparently it matches with the magazine serial number, which is a bit dirty. I'm not sure if you'll be able to read it there, but... You kind of can, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of cleaning to do. A lot of cleaning to do, so we'll clean the gun up nicely. I like the way that the safety is painted red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just in case you forget, you know. <laughs> you don't really need safety with me. you no, got a bolt, do you? No, you don't, yeah. So there we go. Number four, Mark Two. In its glory, brand spanking new. In its mummy wrap. Well, it's not in its mummy wrap anymore. No. It's free. Free as a bird. Well, so we'll, we'll sign off for tonight now, and um, we'll clean him up. We'll clean it up, and we'll hair up, and then we'll um, test fire. Oh, blondie. And then we'll do another video of test firing it. So. We'll um, we're probably not going to find anything in here. We've got to kind of clean this up a bit. They can be really stiff to open. Yeah, we're not going to find... We probably, you know, you'd expect to find maybe the cleaning rod or whatever, some cleaning... Maybe, maybe we should just have a look in Cleaning there. stuff in here, but... Wow, this one is stiff. Yeah, don't do it. Don't worry about it. No. No, we break we'll the just, scissors. Yeah, <laughs> snap the scissors. So there'll either be... We'll need a bit of lubrication and a big screwdriver, flathead screwdriver probably to shift it. And a clean... 
Yeah, good clean, bit of lubrication Nothing. before we even try and open that. It doesn't, it looks bad, it was brass. Yeah, it cleans up. Yeah, I'm happy it's brass because um, some of them weren't brass. Mm. So that's nice. I'd much rather have a brass. But. Yep, well, we're going to go and celebrate. Celebrate, enjoy this. Drink some whiskey. <laughs> Even the bulk is different to the like um, Mark Threes and. Oh, and right. well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's, about it's, it. yeah it's, it's fluted, whatever you call it. It's got this. Um, you know your three. Yeah, three, yeah. I've used the number threes before. A few of those. A few. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I haven't seen that before. That's that's nice. I guess that's to get rid of. Um, some dirt, what have you, and um, Maybe ice make it less prone to jamming. Mm. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful gun. Mm. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do it.